Hi everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, pardon my voice, it's here, it's quiet, but I feel much better, so thank you all for those of you who um, sent well wishes and prayers. Um, wanted to send my response in regards to the similarities and differences between our scriptures that we had this week and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, one of the first things that stuck out to me was just the scope that uh, an audience that both documents, you know, both the scripture and, and this declaration are um, addressing. Both of them are to everyone, right? The declaration basically starts each one of the 30 objectives with everyone. Everyone, this is a right for everyone. This is a, a, a goal for everyone. This is an expectation for everyone. Um, and while the scripture doesn't use the same terminology of everyone, it just points out you. It doesn't say you Christians, you who believe in God. It just says you. You are the light of the world. You are the ones who, um, you know, Romans 14, 7 was the one. It just says none of us lives for himself. No one dies for himself. That That's not specific to Christians, right? Um, that's to everyone. No one and everyone is... Um, and just in how it addresses it. The second similarity that I saw was uh, doing good for the sake of others, right? Both of these in regards to the declaration, the objective, the goal here is to say, we need to do right towards each other. Um, we need to live in peace. We need to, uh, everyone has those rights, has the freedoms, um, and that's freedoms for each other. Um, not just freedoms for ourselves is really what it's getting at, um, even though sometimes it's not specific like that. Um, and again, in, in the Romans 14, uh, 5, it says, One person esteems one day above the other. Another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. Just talking about the differences between us, but we're really we're thinking about others, right? We, we see things one way, but somebody else is going to see something another way, which is why we have to keep the scope of others um, in our forefront. I think Matthew points it out really well and how it talks about you all are the light of the world. Everybody's looking at you. Everybody can see you. You're the salt of the earth. You're what brings it flavor. You're what brings it a season. Um, and that's what we're supposed to be focused on. Differences um, is just the, the thought that came to my mind was it's more than a law. Um, the declaration really points out a lot of information about, you know, there's 30 expectations that everyone is supposed to abide by, um, but it's it's almost comes across as a law. And that's what, you know, Jesus was dealing with, with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Um, but I think Jesus really addressed it really well in Matthew when he says, yeah, there's a law and we're not abolishing the law. However, um, you, you know, it, it talks about you should really be following the law better um, than others. And, and so that's a similarity, but I think the difference is, is that um, Jesus is addressing, yes, there's a law here, but there's something more than a law. There's something more than rules and regulations to abide by. There's a, a character issue that's involved here. And if you fix the character issue, then you're gonna be able to follow those laws better than the Sadducees and the Pharisees did. Um, and so there was a little bit of a difference where it's not just following laws, it's, it's um, addressing your character. And then um, the, another difference is just the, the broad scope. Um, you know, you read through in the declarations and it, it, I mean, they're very good in nature, right? You know, everyone has a right to own property. Everyone has the right to free thought. Everyone has the right to freedom and um, opinion and expression. Everyone has the right to take part in, in you know, the government. And um, that's, that's great, but that's, it's really broad. Um, and anybody can interpret that in a very wide scope of ways, which we see that today, right? You look at the news and you see that being interpreted. Whereas, um, Jesus gets really specific, um, you know, talking about the type of seasoning that we should be um, and that, that we need to be hasty um, because if we're not going to be reaching out to others, then our seasoning is going to go bad. It's going to have to get thrown out. Um, or you see in Romans where it talks about, um, 
you know, one person is gonna see one day one way, one person is gonna see another day another way, one person is gonna eat one way, one person is gonna eat another way, and that doesn't let us off the hook for not treating each other properly and not being Christians to one another just because somebody else does something different than we do, um, right? The declaration is like, you all have to do it this way, whereas the scripture says, we recognize they're not going to do it that way and you still have to act like a Christian and you still have to love people and you still have to care for people even though they have different views than you. Um, and that has to be okay. It's not just a law for yourself. Again, it's that character issue. So thank you all. Hope you have a great week. Happy 4th. Um, hope you all have a safe and enjoyable uh, holiday.